Hello, this is Patrick with 1CNC West, and it's my pleasure to demonstrate some of the brand new features of 1CNC XR5. Now to begin with, let's take a look at the brand new streamlined user interface. There's a lot of nice new tools here, so let's get started. Over on the left hand side of the screen, you have your standard drawing tools. But note now that we also include the modeling tools and all of your cam tools as well. The idea is that everything starts from the left hand side of the screen. So, the workflow for creating geometry is going to be the same as the workflow for creating your toolpaths. Now to select an item, just simply left hand mouse click and there's your submenu. To select a submenu item, left hand mouse click and then go to work. Now to move backwards through the menus, you can select a different option, you can hit the escape key on the keyboard or you can right hand mouse click. Whatever is most easiest for you. Now to further expedite your geometry creation within points, lines and arcs, we now include coordinate input you no longer have to access a submenu for your coordinate input. You simply type in the values, hit the enter key, and then move on. It's a very fast, direct, and efficient approach to geometry creation. I'm going to hit the escape key. We're going to talk a little bit more about geometry creation later on, but let's take a look at some other advantages that XR5 provides in regards to the user interface. One of my favorite new tools is the Quick Access Toolbar. This toolbar is used to populate with commands that you most commonly use. For example, these could be geometric commands or manufacturing commands. So for example, let's say I want to add an arc command up here. To do that, we'll go to the main menu, select arc, and from the submenu, just right hand mouse click. As soon as you do that, you've got the brand new command there. To delete the command from the quick access bar, you can right hand mouse click. So to add a command, right hand mouse click, to delete right hand mouse click. It couldn't be any easier than that. I'm going to add a line command, I think I'll add a trim to command. How about a couple of extrude commands? Extrude curve, extrude cut. You're not limited to geometry. Let's head over here to manufacturing. Let's add a pocketing operation and a profile operation. It's very, very straightforward. All right. Also, in regards to expediting your workflow, let's take a look at hotkeys. Now, in previous versions of 1CNC, you could definitely add a hotkey, but it's never been quite as easy as, as it is now in XR5. To demonstrate that, we're going to go to View and then Customize. And you'll notice now that within XR5, all your geometric and manufacturer tools are all in one simple menu. So to add a hotkey, all you do is scroll to the area you want, select the command you want, add your hotkey. I'm going to add the letter A here and click Assign. And there you go. Now, if I want to, I can also take any of these commands and add them to the quick access bar. So for example, let's say I want to add the Alter command up here. To do that, highlight it, click the right arrow, and everything within this dialog box will appear in the quick access as soon as you click OK. And there you go, there's my command. Now it's already here within the transform command, so I'm going to right hand mouse click to delete that. Also note too that within XR5, your flyouts are located in the lower right hand corner. This is a nice efficient layout, and you can still dock and undock these if you want. Alright, now let's take a look at geometry creation.